Hello there, my name is Ashante Russell and I just wanted to share a bit more perspectives as it relates to The Truth Be Told, a Caribbean call to action on climate and gender justice virtual campaign launch. So when addressing the question, what are some of the key policy actions you would like to see implemented to support climate and gender justice in the Caribbean? Honestly, when taking into account the limitations of climate finance and the whole financial literacy of women within the region, it's something that I would like to see more policy and more policy reframe oriented on. The reality is women tend to make up the heads of most households in this region. And at the same time, when taking into account the vulnerabilities handed down by climate change, women need to understand how to navigate, orient, and allocate funds for the various challenges that may arise. This is one definite set of policy that I would like to see implemented across the region. Secondly, when taking into account the aspects of climate education on the whole, I would like to see more policy implementation in terms of educating girls and young women and women in general in this space. Because at the end of the day, when looking at the vulnerable marginalized groups and who will take, who will essentially take most of the, the brunt of the challenge, women tend to make up that populace. Women tend to be the ones who have to essentially navigate and orient and make things happen after or more so in the aftermath of climate disasters. We've seen that across the region. That's definitely something I've seen in the Bahamas post-Hurricane Dorian. So this is something that I'd like to see taking into account.